By the way, I've played I've played Sergoy before. Like, what am I gonna do with that? You know. So I'm just saying it, it's. Me and this guy have played this line before. Forgot what he played last time. I think he went knight d4. Yeah, the way I like to play this, the way I've been playing this is just to play f4. It's probably wrong, but I I don't remember the theory. <laughs> I'm too lazy to just memorize all the theories, so I just really like this setup, and I, I, I enjoy myself quite a bit. I can play h3, but I think I'm just going to castle. So, fighting is stupid, and I just prefer to watch professionals do it than try to do it myself. Queen e1. Standard idea. Black will try to create counterplay with c4, either now or in the future. This is a weird move, because I don't understand what... Maybe I should have won h3 now, but maybe he's just trying to play bishop a6. And I am trying to go here. That's why I defended my knight. Right, I just said that move. Bishop e3, maybe, maybe h3. e5. Queen h4 is also interesting. Yeah, you know what? Since he's doing this, I might go for queen h4 and just say, you know what? Let's go for checkmate. f5, etc. f5, etc. We are we are attacking the man. Um I mean, I gotta tell you, f5 looks pretty good. I also like e5, but he's gonna go knight there. I don't really know what his next move is, if I'm honest. Like, if I play bishop e3, I don't know what his next move is. I think I can just prepare... Wow! h5 is bananas. <laughs> I would have never guessed that that is what he wanted to do in that position. What? Well, now f5 looks really strong. I guess he's trying to put the knight on g4. Okay, what if I don't allow that? Like, what is the big idea? I mean, knight g4 made sense, but I'm not going to trade the queens. He's trying to get my bishop. And if he plays knight d7, probably go to f2. And then I can try to lock him in. This is a big idea for me. It's like a miracle some of these moves aren't just totally losing for black. Okay, I should make another improving move. Is he playing knight d5? Oh, wow. Knight d5. That is... Kind of underestimated this. Just like really didn't want to get mated. Kind of shocking. Okay, g4. Probably still fine. I'm just gonna play on restriction. King g2. Maybe is he going for f5? Is that is that an idea? F5 looks kind of deranged. F6. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean I can't anticipate any of his moves. <laughs> it's. Yeah, let's play king g2. I mean, all right. Active king. I feel like this is smart. This also feels smart. Okay, now we prevent infiltration. Okay, we can play not to lose. We can also play to win. Which one are we going for? Which one are we playing for? Do I trade the bishops or not? I won't. I guess I'm going to restrict him.
King on e4. We're gonna dance. We'll see if he uh, makes a draw. I don't have to make a draw. I can play bishop c3. Very low risk position. I mean, he can't do much, so. Oops. We danced. We got in. Knight C8, Knight D6. Mate, I don't give a f about Benoit Saint Denis right now. Come on, brother. Did you just see what I just fumbled? I just lost an endgame up upon Benoit Saint Denis and Dustin Poirier. All right? And I love Dustin Poirier. You know, I have no idea why I didn't go here. I have no idea. Obviously, this is the way you win. Obviously. Obviously. You play like this and then you try to win. The I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's so wild. That's so crazy I lost that game. I knew it. I mean, I I can't even explain. It was probably obvious on camera how nervous I got when I went from confidently playing and getting a pawn up. Like right here, I gave up. Mentally. Right here, I started realizing I'm winning. And I immediately panicked.